Hi guys, Marco here from MyColorScreen.com bringing you the latest and greatest home screen tutorials. Today I'm featuring this awesome looking home screen by Gary Arts and it is called Pure. As you can see why it's called that is because Look how awesome the screen is. We've got our two UCCW widgets at the top, one with our time as well as our battery circle over here. And the next UCCW widget here is our weather widget. Look how awesome that red is right there. It also includes the little home screen indicators at the bottom here. And finally, we've got these funky little buttons at the bottom here that include, that'll open up such as our phone, open up our phone, as well as this button over here, which is our app drawer. Awesome. I'm going to be bringing you how to produce a stock launcher all the way into this awesome looking home screen right here. Let us begin. Okay, starting from our stock Jelly Bean launcher, whatever launcher you have, we're going to be opening up our app Apex Launcher Pro. Now we're going to be changing a few settings. So we'll go into our Apex settings and we'll go into home screen settings. We're going to be changing our portrait grid to a 9 by 7 as well as turning our horizontal margin and vertical margin to none. Our managed screens, we only want to have two screens like so. And then finally, you want to scroll down the bottom and hide notification bar. Go back, we go to dock, dock settings, and we want to hide dock. Don't need the dock. All right. Finally, we go to advanced settings, and we want to change overlapping widgets. We want to select that because we want to overlap our widgets. And that's it. Go back, change our wallpaper to the one that Gary Arts has provided. Go into it like so, just click save. And there you have it, two screens like so. And there you have it. Next we'll be adding in our UCCW widgets. Boom. All right, to add in our UCCW widgets at, for the top for the top here, we'll go hold down, add widget, scroll down to UCCW widgets, one a three by three. Now to find it, you just simply go open user and then find where you've pasted the one called pure and you want that start off with the clock. We'll go, you have it tap it and there we have it we need to do is resize it a bit like so and there we have it bring it up a bit look at that awesome little clock there next we're moving on to adding in the weather so we'll just do the same as before and there we have the weather like so we'll resize that a bit maybe one more and there we have our two widgets like that next we're going to be adding in our desktop visualizer Okay, for the desktop visualizer, we're going to use that for home screen indicators. We'll select it like so. Let's make it a 2x2. Two two. There we have it like so. Don't worry about the size for now. And we'll go select icon, our image file, which is also provided by Gary Arts in the link. And you want to select action and you want none. We do not need an action. Click OK. And there's our home screen indicator resize that like so awesome now for this side do the same thing awesome now we have our two home screen indicators like that look at that indicating our home screens finally we'll be adding in our icons at the bottom all right for the finally the, the icons at the bottom there are a few ways of doing this. The one way, say for the apps, would be to select and say Apex Actions, and you want App Draw like so, as you can see it is there. And then all you need to do is change it to a blank PNG. So I'll just tap it like that, select Picture, go Quick Pick, and I'll provide a blank PNG for you. Do not worry, there we have one. Click OK. As you can see, it has now disappeared. Now for the phone and Gmail widgets or icons, we can use minimalist text. Another great one to use. So we can use two by two. Now what I've already done is, is created a preference or a saved one. We'll show phone. And basically all it is, if we go to custom layout, it's just static text, static text saying that. Just need to resize it. And there we have our little phone right there. Now if you want to animate it, we just tap there, select another activity, select an activity, and we'll go look for contacts and change it to phone launcher, boom, okay. Now when you tap it, it opens up the phone, like so. So next we'll add in for both sides, on each side, like that. Awesome stuff. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any requests for a tutorial, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you very much, guys, and I'll see you around next time.